This year's been big for Davion in the sense that his role has obviously increased from the first game till now. At the front door, Davion Nixon flings him down for a loss. We're seeing somebody that has just constantly gotten better. Martinez takes off, but brought down by Davion Nixon. For somebody of his size to be able to move, you know, with the twitch that he moves with, you don't find that very often, you know, with a, with a body size that, that type. Nixon again brings him down. Sometimes you would think that like he's seen the cards or something. Sometimes you're like, bro, are you cheating? Because it's crazy how, how instinctive he is. He seems to always get to the ball or he always sees the, like, the quarterback before they can do it or whatever. Again, it's Davion Nixon getting through to the quarterback. So I play Madden a lot, and I play with uh, my roommate, Amani Jones. He used to be on the football team, number 52. I play with him a lot, and he does the same thing that Penn State was doing. If there's nothing else open, hit the flat. Second and 10. Should take a shot right here. I'm running my stunt to get to where I need to be, and I see the quarterback eyes get big, like he's about to throw it to the flat again. I'm like, all right, once he throws his ball, I'm going to pick it off. Clippers had it picked off! So now I'm running down the sideline and then the quarterback is coming. If I'm this guy, if I'm a quarterback, what's the first thing that I'm gonna do? In basketball, when you make a turnover, the first thing you need to do is be back on defense and try to block the shot. He's gonna go for the ball. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, he's gonna go for the ball, try to strip the ball out of my hands, do something like that. And that's what he did. He tried to reach for the ball, and so I just up and, <laughs> up and over him. And I kept him, gave him like a little uh, stutter step to see where he was gonna go first, and then made my move inside. Davion Nixon makes a move. The big fella stretching his legs. Davion Nixon to the house. That was just a Euro step, you know, getting around him. And <laughs> I don't know, after that, everybody was like, okay, now he has to go one-on-one -on -one with Luka. Carson just dunks to give Iowa the lead. When it comes to basketball, I'm pretty sure I got first team in high school, probably like my junior year, my senior year. I can take him in the post, but Luka has like that range of shooting and things like that. Like my defense is pretty good, but I'm not gonna be on a three-point line trying to guard Luka Garza for the three points. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna make him come to me in the, in the post. I've always been like one of the biggest kids in my class. So of course I had to be the big man in the post and things like that, which you know, running around, ducking on people, jumping over guys, like it's, it's just a lot of fun. But now, nah, Luca and those guys, though, they do that for a living. So we're gonna let, we're gonna let them stick to basketball. We'll stick to football. Growing up in Wisconsin and Kenosha, I wasn't the smartest guy growing up. It was always hard for me in school. When I was in high school, a coach told me like, "No one's gonna offer you because of your grades," and so that kind of like hurt my feelings. You tell me I'm not good enough, basically. And that just drove me a lot more to, you know, get my grades up and things like that and just keep fighting. Well, he buckled down. I think he missed qualifying out of high school by maybe like a point and a half or something like that. So he, he did what he had to do. He just was a little bit too short. Iowa talked to us. They gave us a couple of options, pointing us in the right direction. Davion chose junior college. Iowa Western, I think that was the best thing for him. They turned him into a beast. Like, I looked at his film, and I was like, whoa, they're really playing football down there. I took it as, like, this is my first chance at a college experience before I actually get to the actual D1 level. My goal was to get to Iowa and get to play, so I had an offer from Alabama, and then the first thing I did was call Iowa. I'm like, hey, guys, I just want to let you guys know first that I got an offer from Alabama here. And then I call my dad, and my dad's in the phone screaming his pants off. He's like, are you serious? Are you serious? I'm like, yeah, dad, I'm serious. He's like, that's amazing, man. He's like, so what are you going to do? I'm like, uh, probably going to stick with Iowa. He's like, that's a good choice. That's a great choice. When he first got here, he wasn't one of the starting guys, and he just worked his way up until like he was on scout team. We had Sed Lattimore and Brady Reef in there as starters playing a lot, so he was in a little bit more of a of a role that was probably a 20 snap a game type of a role. Sed Lattimore, he was he was like the guy in front of me. So just watching him and watching how he plays and how he carries himself, you know, I definitely learned a lot from him, especially AJ, you know, different techniques and different moves that I can use on offensive linemen. 
but the way to carry myself and how to take on blocks and different things like that, those two guys were a big influence on that. If you can find young men that have patience, that understand that it is a process, and we develop our guys both on and off the field, and um, you know if they're committed to the development off the field, then it'll show up on the field. Pocket collapsing, down he goes, Davion Nixon. It was a long road, and you know there were certainly some bumps in it. And right now, what you're seeing is, is you're just seeing a progressive development from a football player that you know is playing at a high level. I cry a lot, I'm just being honest, because he had a rough road to where he's at now, but I think he's being rewarded for just being faithful and just sticking to it and just keep going and not giving up. So whenever I see him coming out of the tunnel, I get a little teary-eyed, and I am super proud of him. I know everybody in town is proud of him. He's working hard and doing the best he can.